So I'm looking at this uh, arrangement and I'm not real happy with it. I want to change this to a two wide unit that's six foot high. Let's see what we have in the two wide unit. So these are my two wide units. I'm looking for one that's six foot high. Let's see what that is. Clearly mislabeled, so I'll just uh, two wide by six foot high. So I'm going to change that so that it is six foot high. And let's take a look at that. I didn't duplicate it because it really it's already labeled as two foot wide by six foot high. Uh, or two units wide by six foot high. Let's see what happens there. Okay. But it's not really exactly what I want there. So let's go back and see what we have for the original um, unit. That's not the right. So let's, I've got to find a two foot wide unit. I don't see any um all right so i want to make that unit as wide as these two units are so let's measure and let's just see from here to here it's three foot ten and a half control c to copy it and then i'll edit this guy duplicate it And it's going to be this distance wide by six foot high. So I'll delete that and make it six. And I get rid of that little two that Rabbit puts in there and say, okay. And I'll paste this distance in here and I'll change the height to six feet. And let's see what we have here. That's more like it. Now, can I align this guy to the center? No, nope, not being able to do that. So let's align right here and just see what happens. I'm going to align the edge of this guy to this guy. Okay, and then I'll take this guy and mirror it about the center of this guy. Now let's look at that in 3D real quickly. And I think look on the corner of the view cube. And I think that starts to create a little bit more symmetry. If we take a look at the second floor plan, that works, that works, that works. <clears throat> and a bedroom has to have a certain size window in it for egress because we only have one exit in a, on the second floor, which is the stairwell. Uh, the building code allows us to make the window uh, as an egress unit as well. So we have to make sure that that window satisfies the egress requirements. And that's simply a minimum width and a minimum uh, area of uh, net clear opening. So I think I satisfied that, so we're pretty good. Looking back here at the 3D, I wanna take one of these transoms. So I'm gonna say, create similar, and I wanna put it right on top of this bathroom. So we'll just put it there for right now. There's going to be some conflicts because it's too wide right now. But let's go to the second floor and take a look at what I'm trying to do. Let's look at the section through there real quick. And you can see that I really can't put a, this is the tub area, and I really can't put a window there because this tub will also be a shower. I really don't want to have a a uh, window that when you're showering the water is always uh, running you know flowing up against it 
So my thinking is I, I have a little bit extra high ceilings here, so maybe I can put a transom right above the bathtub here. Let's take a look at that and just measure from the, so it's, ten, it's six feet and that's gonna be lower than the shower head. So it's possible that it won't be spraying a lot of shower up there. And I know this uh, bathroom is five feet wide. So I'm, let's see what we have as far as transoms go here to select from. Um, I'm going to make it four feet wide so that it doesn't go all the way across. And then I will center it in that space by just dimensioning and clicking equal. And there we go. So in that bathroom now, which didn't have a, a window in it because of, there's, it's also a shower. Now we have a transom window up there that'll let some light in and make that bathroom a little bit nicer. So we're coming around. I'm just looking for places where I need to put windows. And here is a place that I wanted windows in front of the tub. So let's take that and say create similar and put it over here. And that's a question really of, uh, it was giving me a message, I think, because I have two different wall types here. Let's take a look at, let's go back to the 3D and take a look at what I just did there. All right, uh, looks like it's uh, taller than it's supposed to be. Why would, why would that go in taller? Anyway, we'll look at it, we'll go to the second floor. I'm gonna drag this section over to here now and flip it so that we can see what the uh, what the wall looks like. Not bad, but why is it, why did it go in so tall? I don't know, but I will align the top of this window with the top of this window. It's in backwards. So I'm gonna flip this window first by just hitting the space bar. And then, uh, no, I might be wrong about that. Let's go to the second floor and take a look at how it's fitting in that wall. Uh, there's the brick mold, but it should be out to the end of there. So we'll make, cause this is not a brick wall here, this, but I still put the brick mold on so that, it, that the windows look the same all the way around. So now I have to, change the offset in the wall from four inches to zero. And let's see how that works. That looks good. So the brick mold sits right on the face of the uh, of the uh, wall. Okay, so we'll say that that's fine. And back to our 3D view just to see. And I think that will look really nice. I still have to lower it down uh, back to that section. And then we'll try to align for something that I can align uh, the window parts. So... Let's just say the bottom of the window right there matches the bottom of the window right there. And I guess that looks pretty good. So now the question is, do I want to center the tub uh, or center, center the window? Is there a center line of the, of the tub? Let's see if there is. No, there's really no center line of the tub. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. Uh, uh, that doesn't look bad to me, uh, so that'll be all right. So, and then I'm gonna grab this window, which I put in the bathroom and create similar, and then I can have a window in the toilet room. You can see the brick mold again is in the wrong spot because this, this isn't a uh, brick wall, it's a wall with siding on the outside. 
but I still want to use the brick mold just so that all the windows match. So there's really no reason for a brick mold. It's just that this becomes a, a trim around the window. So we'll take a look at that and see how it looks. Pretty good. Let's go back to that section so I can see how it looks in the, and again, for some reason it's putting it too high, I think. So we'll go put the section through there. And I know that the top of the window, I'll use that as our alignment. I'm gonna align right there with the top of the window and then come over here. I could have done this with the uh, tub window as well. So that looks pretty good to me. Uh, right, let's look at it in 3D so we can get an idea. Yeah, here it is. Just spin it around a little bit. So, oh yeah, okay, so now I see the problem that uh, a novice, a early um, person starting early on this would not necessarily comprehend, but if we go to the left side uh, view, Okay, um, so my camera is way over here. I think it's turned off. So I'm seeing a different, I'm, I have a camera over here somewhere, I think. Let's see. Yeah, my cameras are, a, about this guy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab all of the cameras, hold the control key down. Because when I looked at that left side elevation, I was actually seeing this ball and grab this guy. And I'm just gonna move the cameras over to here. And now let's go back to that left side elevation and I'll actually see the elevation of this so what's going to happen is there's going to be a roof. So that's going to modify these two. But there's going to be a roof over the garage. And it's probably going to block that window. So I probably won't be able to keep that window in there once I put the uh, roof on the garage area. But I'll leave it there for now. And in the master bedroom, I'll do the same thing here. Create similar. Four wide is nice. I'll put it over here and it's in backwards see where the brick mold is it's on the inside so I'll hit the space bar and look at that it goes to the right spot all right and so then the next thing I need to do is align that I can do it from the outside or the inside but let's do it from the inside snap to the midpoint of those windows what I'm trying to do now here is simply center it in the bedroom space Okay, escape, escape, click on that, delete, enter, whoops, click. escape, escape, click on that, delete, enter, enter allows it to, uh, it answers a question about it being unconstrained and says, yeah. All right, so let's take a look at this. Um, I think I'm very happy with all of these things so far. I can see I still need to clean this wall up here. This wall right here is, it. It's an interior wall here. Here it needs to become an exterior wall. Uh, so I have to fix that as well. And maybe the height of that window isn't exactly correct in the master bedroom. So we'll go to that view. And here's the window. And what can I line it up with? I'm looking for a spot. Yeah, heck, I can line it up right there. So I'll take this alignment and I'm gonna pick that line and then I'll come over here it is too high and I'll align that okay so now we'll go back and take a look at it real quickly in 3d starting to look good to me uh, that I'm just going to spin it around so those are my windows in the in the uh, master bedroom so I got windows in the master bath what I was thinking about but I I have to realize that when I put the roof in, I'll have to modify the, those windows. This guy probably isn't going to um, uh, have any room for a window at all. 
collapsed because of the roof of the garage, but that's all right for now. And so we're looking around and around. Everything looks good here. This, I'm going to change this wall to a full brick wall, and then I'll go to Revit City and get a nice front entry door, maybe some windows above it, but I'll leave that alone for now. And I can see from looking at this that I haven't fixed these windows yet because I haven't put the uh, fireplace in. So I have to do that too. But this look, this starts to look really good to me for laying out the windows in my second floor. So I'll stop the tutorial right here.